Hello, Mr. Bloom. I just wanted to show you, uh, this is how close we are to having your seats all done. They're all actually sewn up. Okay. They're all actually sewn up and uh, we were waiting on uh, about a half a yard of vinyl. About a half a yard of vinyl. I think uh, uh, I remembered, well, actually, probably where the half a yard went is maybe to your vanity panel that's hiding your wiring, or it could be to the back seat, which I didn't, uh, we kind of added, we realized that it was going to look like hell, so we, we added that. So anyway, um, uh, that's the start of your update, and... Uh, and he'll be getting that put together sometime in the next week or so. Oh, yeah. So, sure. all right, all right. Thank you, Matt. So let me walk on out to your to your boat. And here's your seats that what were, I think, well, you saw the, you saw the example with that brown material. So uh, here they are ready to go. Hello. How you doing? Doing great, Tony. How are you about yourself? Most How's the baby? Good. That's good. Huh? Are you taking a video right now? Yeah, I'm taking a video right now. Uh, I'll come back and look pictures of her in a minute. <sighs> so, Mr. Bloom, I just had lunch. <laughs> and uh, you see my, uh, you can see my, uh, my, tendonitis uh giving me heck of night with my hip right now but anyway uh so here's your here's your boat uh it's a little dusty apologize for that uh, i hate doing the videos when things are a little bit dirty but uh uh we've just uh we've been um we've been working away so uh the uh now i would explain to try to explain to everybody that's getting there uh getting their trailer done Let's see my yeah so this turnbuckle is used when when you when you uh put this boat on a boat ramp and pull it out your boat is going to be level and your trailer is going to be at the angle of the ramp so when you pull out and the trailer comes up your 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 boat will automatically be about two inches shy of hitting the bow stop when you get out on top of the on top of the uh, on top of the ramp now in the past we had a stiff leg here and uh the uh stiff leg uh so to, to pick up that distance you know you get going about five ten mile an hour in the parking lot and slam on the brakes and slide your boat forward to the bow stop we thought well that's pretty hokey so um We'd noticed where some some other people had uh, had uh, actually added the turnbuckle uh, to their trailers, uh, just private individuals, and then uh, I think there might be a trailer company or two that's actually copying that as well. But anyway, so uh, they added that, and uh, so we, we decided to do that as well. So what you'll do is you'll start off with your with your bow stop tilted just a little bit forward and then you pull it out pull your boat out and then you'll uh, to take up your space you'll adjust your your turnbuckle to where this is standing straight up again and the same should be at the same time that this is standing straight up it should be in contact with your with your uh, rub rail so that's how that works um so uh the, uh, uh, we've got all your trim on. It really, it'd be nice if you got a nice picture of the boat from up high, I think, to get an idea of what it looks like. Looks really good. So I had a question earlier when our phone connection wasn't working well. And I said, gee, you know, I was planning on taking this switch, this doorbell switch out and, uh, and putting the new push button in there. And then the realization is that is that when I do that, I'm going to have holes I got to fill. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, this is the, 
it's, it's, gonna, it's probably gonna look worse to change this out than to just keep your siren button uh, right here. Looks like we've got your switch off. Uh, and I think you've already seen your um, your uh, cup holders. Uh, I believe your battery switch is off. Uh, you've seen your cup holders. Uh, you've seen your, what we call a vanity panel. This is hiding all of your uh, electrical wiring and so forth. This is uh, what your seats are gonna look like. We did a black piping instead of a white piping because the white piping has a tendency to get soiled and look dirty. So we're doing we're doing the uh, doing the black piping. So that's why I selected that for you. Um, and uh, and then we also have all your flooring made to fasten down on the, to snap down on the floor. So uh, and then your seats sit on top of that, as I recall. So anyway, we've got uh, got the, that all just about ready to go. Here's your rear hatches as well. And then we had. We had new, uh, one of the reasons that our metals were a little higher than expected, we went ahead and had new um, transom straps made. Your old ones were, it was gonna take way longer to polish them than to just have new made. Um, we did also one of these, one of your, um, uh, one of your exhaust rings was uh, bronze and the other was chromed and the chrome was Half the chrome, well, not half the chrome, but some of the chrome was off, and and so we went ahead and removed all the chrome, and then on your exhaust tips, we brushed those um, in order to uh, to make those exhaust tips look nice, and so um, we got that that handled, that's done, that's completed, um, and uh, your. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let me swole up a little bit. We may have to do a little, uh, do a little shaving right there. It's wanting to catch right up there in that corner. But uh, so here's your um, here are your stern panels, and we have a couple more ceiling boards that have to go in right along here as well. And so we just like putting it together. Uh, it won't take long to put it together. I will review our uh, invoices and uh, see if we've already got the invoice <coughs> for <coughs> for taking it all the way back to North Carolina, or if we've, yeah, I'm, I'm sure if I did that, rather than trying to figure out the invoice for meeting somewhere. So uh, we've also, um, you know, got your trailer complete. Here's your loading guides. We, we will, uh, We'll take the canvas off of those before we transport it, but that's plastic pipe under there, so we like those to look nice, so we've got the canvas on those. And um, anyhow, uh, it sure is uh, looking quite a bit different than uh, when it came in. So that's the uh, final update. So uh, anyway, uh, we'll talk to you soon.